Welcome to part three. I have the components that we're going to be putting in in this video in order. So we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get at it. This bracket has three 14 millimeter bolts and one 10 right there. And the lowest one is shorter. It doesn't go through the water pump. I'm using this Permatex Blue on most of the bolts. And this is just an example of how it's put on about how much you need to use. Get the engine bracket. The lower engine bracket, I think Honda calls it, right? And repeat on the other two. Alright, now we're going to install the lower timing cover. And these are nine foot pounds. Or just snug them up, not too tight. Curved out toward the engine. Okay. And up the top. Okay, go for it. There's our bolt. Lock tight on there. Forty-seven on the crank bolt plus 60 degrees so we're holding it like this up against the uh, lower control arm and getting into it from here probably don't have a lot of swing here either hopefully it'll stay in there hard to get much on that, isn't it? There it is, 47. Now to get to the 60 degree additional torque, we've uh, gone outside the wheel well here. And I've marked it at zero, all the way down to 90, just to get a relative idea of where 60 is. And so we'll just uh, use our breaker bar then and shoot for 60. And we have it. We hit the 60. It's the radiator side. You make note now, this groove right here is going to seat on there. So you're going to bring it up. Well, we'll go ahead and install it, you can see. Line it up and then push down that little bitty bit, little distance there. You'll know it's in there right when you can't pull it out from the bottom because it's caught in that groove. Now we can put the serpentine tensioner in. Remember there's a 14 millimeter. It's kind of the idler portion of it. And there's a 12 millimeter. It's kind of like an alignment bolt sort of down below. And uh, there's also a retainer. Okay, this was 12 millimeter down here. Doing this tensioner 33, the 14 millimeter. Slowly. Go. Feed it through there. Get them started. If possible. Hey, these aren't so bad. I can hand tight both of them at once. Yep, go ahead. All right, only lost a few drops. Okay, take this off. Clamp it back up. That's good. There we go. Okay, remember the two longer bolts, if you separated them, they go on the lower end. 
little stored one on top. Ground goes here. And this goes into the big aluminum lock. So I'll slide that in there and got about four or five bolts to worry about here. There we go. With the power train control, control module, that lower one is the only one that has a little bit of difficulty in it. And there's the one with the bracket and the two other ones that are on the wheel well. Once we have this in position and we have this plate ready to be mounted on here, let's put that lower screw in first. That one I'm going to zoom in on that right there. Put that little bolt in first and we'll put them all, all the three mounting bolts in loosely to start with and then uh, get everything plugged in and tighten them up. All right, go ahead. The one that this is the old cable that goes right to the wheel well wall basically and it plugs in. This is the one that has a lever on it and so you lock it down like that there and that's going to be under there far enough to be a bit of a pain. Bit of a contortionist here, which apparently I am today. Well, I thought I got it, I didn't. Okay, we'll tighten that up. Everything's loose right now. I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to tighten though is this one down here because once these wires are in place, you're not going to be able to get down there. So we'll just get a 10 millimeter. Let me get the picture, just tighten it up. Ready? Okay, these are all going to just naturally go in the right place here, and then they have the lock on them. Okay, okay, snap these in. I'm upside down. <laughs> they love these. That's good. Now we'll get the. Okay, don't forget to put the cover back on. slides through this slot over here on this end like so if I can show that there I don't think you're going to be able to see it in there, there and then it just snaps and that's it PCM done okay we're using a Lyle kit on this let's get this adapter on here number C and then we fit on the cap there's a spot on there where it really fits nice and then the funnel everything fits real nice and we'll just start adding coolant and this uh, saved me a trip to the dealership and it's a few bucks cheaper it's got a good wrap Okay, we're just going to run this up to 10 and uh, get the air out. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe. There's more uh, useful videos in the works. Mm -hmm.